All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video covering the new OTA update. It had a lot of juicy stuff. Unfortunately, I'm going to be away, so I'm trying to get as much as I can. So this will be the other deck that I show off as soon as I can uh, to the OTA. But it's a great Phoenix Force deck. It's pretty standard in what Phoenix Force does, but it also is capable of leveraging Taskmaster and Spider-Man now that Phoenix Force is a four cost. So your curve is a lot better with Phoenix Force being a four five. It makes it so you can play dagger multiple man on two, kill it on three, and then you can Taskmaster or Spider-Man lock them out on turn six. So that way you could then safely, like say lock them out of the far right location. So you can Heimdall that location, win it with eight power, and then you have Phoenix Force flooding the board with multiple manner, winning with crazy dagger power. Uh, this deck also utilizes Spider Ghost, Ghost Spider, uh, which is now a one cost card. So that means on turn three, you could, you could turn two Dagger, turn three Ghost Spider Carnage and get a big Carnage. Same thing with Venom. Uh, you probably wouldn't want to do that with multiple man because you don't really want a bunch of three power multiple mans everywhere. You'd rather save it for the eight power ones later. Uh, but also this is just a heavier uh, move package with some good death uh, destroy stuff. And I'm expecting it to, to have a pretty good win rate. So if you guys enjoy these videos, please show the love in the comments and with likes and subscriptions. I, it means a lot to me. I look at the analytics all the time and it keeps me motivated. It keeps me wanting to make these great decks for you guys. So if you can do that, that'd mean the world. Thank you. All right, let's hop into the first one. We got a pretty good combo here to start. I think I'm just going to throw the Iron Fist in. I know it's not a great turn play to Iron Fist turn one, but we don't really have a much better play. We aren't playing for Phoenix Force because we don't have Phoenix Force or really any destroy cards for that matter. So, um, figure let's pop Vormir while we can. From the Daily and we can get a multiple man flying around. I think it's smart to get the multiple man early. So if we pull a destroy and then Phoenix Force 3-4, we're in a better position, but I do see the vulture. I, I understand. But it also gives us some coverage into a Heimdall. Uh, gives us more power on the right. God, I love that bug. Iron Man comes, or Iron Fist comes flying out of nowhere to join multiple man. Um, I mean, we, we can Phoenix Force. It won't, won't do anything because it'll hit our Iron Fist now that I'm thinking about it, but uh, it is it is an option that we uh, have on the table. I might Phoenix Force just to uh, have the power anyway though. It will just be nice to have 7 power. Um, the issue is I'm pretty sure Phoenix Force punches herself or itself when it does this. It might be better to play Dagger and Wolverine there. I think that's the better play. And then we can Spider-Man lock down there, set up for a Heimdall right. Should be looking good, honestly. Friendly neighborhood Spider -Man here. Friendly neighborhood Spider -Man here. And that doesn't really do anything because he's letting us Heimdall into it, so... Yeah, he has to play a lot of power to both locations if he wants to try and keep up, so... I'd imagine we see our opponent retreating here. I don't imagine he stays into this, but people can be a little, uh, little on the stranger side. We have multiple man popping back. So we won left. We definitely won middle. Uh, we won all three. Yeah, I guess they just were banking on us not having Heimdall, I guess. 
But uh, yeah, easy start to the video. It is also uh, funny watching like the update and seeing when it happened because I, when I was playing Phoenix Force, I always wished that Phoenix Force was a four cost instead because I felt like it didn't have the same value as other five costs like Taskmaster, Iron Man or something like that, that like it was competing in the slot for. And I was saying that four cost would probably be better because then it, isn't, it doesn't feel like it's competing with Vision, right? Like that's the big one that it was competing with before. Um, and now it feels like it isn't competing with that, which is good. And I don't know. I mean, I'm not... I'm personally just not a huge Phoenix Force fan. It's good. It's fun. Like, it's just like, you know, if I'm going into a conquest, I, I don't really know how good the meta would have to be for me to be like, yeah, I think I want to play, like, Phoenix Force into the meta, you know? Like, probably not for me, at least. But, you know, to each their own. Um... I think <laughs> Yeah, I think I have to do that I guess I don't have to do that. I can do that and then play Heimdall here. I don't know. destroy anything and they haven't played anything too crazy I don't really understand what their deck is unless it's just like a wave control deck Heimdall left isn't great because he loses to Chavez uh, I also lose to Odin by two I mean, unless I went back to building. Oh? I think I beat that. Yeah. Beat Blue Marvel, you know? Hey, sometimes... Sometimes a little luck... is what happens when you play right, you know? You played the winning line, and uh, won the game because they didn't have what they needed. Sometimes that happens. Nothing you can do but be happy that it happened to you. I am also happy if Phoenix Force is good into the meta because I will say this deck runs some of my favorite variants. Like, uh, love that Carnage variant, obviously. Um, that is heartbreaking. Sir, please storm Adelaine. Please get it, get it out. We don't want it here. <gasps> you dirty dog. You absolute dirty dog. How dare they? Unfortunate. So uh, we're gonna be a little out of uh, curve. Ooh, but we get this, which is fun. Mm. Probably do this, and then we spider going it back to Adelan. Yeah. Um, well, we win the Vulture Lane, for sure. And then we're probably... I am actually so dense i forgot that iron fist went left because i was just looking at like oh um am 
going to bring that there, drop that there. Um, actually, I want to do that, I think. Because multiple mana ain't getting hit by Heimdall, so I might as well play on the odds that I get Phoenix Force, and then I can do some multiple mana shenanigans. I mean, it also implies I win a 50-50 with the Iron Fist, but here we are. Um, I mean, Dagger's not bad. Can't complain about that. I think we're in a pretty good spot. We have 15 power middle, and we'll have like a lot left. Is this like a Wong deck that didn't find its Wong? I don't really know what this guy is going for. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have 15, 23 left, so doubt they do anything there. They played another card, which makes our uh, dagger even bigger. They had to play 11 middle. I don't love their chances of having done that. They did get the, uh... oh wait. Okay. I really thought that was going to go on forever. So does Absorbing Man not keep Odin's ability then? Oh, we would have went, we went Tiebreaker though. Oh, okay, so it doesn't get him, really. I, I was? I did not know that. I thought that was going to go on indefinitely and I was just going to lose. Which would have been tragic. But we didn't. Alright. Um... Hopefully I get to showcase some of our actual Phoenix Force cool stuff that we get to do in this deck. And it's not just uh, me doing a whole lot of nothing and winning with just like move or destroy. Because that would be kind of lame. Well, we won eternity range, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. This would be the uh, time for Phoenix Force to uh, show their stuff. If uh, Phoenix Force wants to. It's fine. Sometimes just get a little shy, you know? It's okay. You can still have Phoenix Force show up this turn and we'll be all fine. No issues at all. Of course, it's only if Phoenix Force wants to wants to show up. Not, not everyone uh, likes to show up when the pressure's on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see, I see what you're saying. But the thing is, where the fuck's my Phoenix Force? Uh-huh. A lot of Wong right white tigers today, apparently. Fifteen. What is this? Uh what's plus eight? Twelve. Okay, yeah, that beats Odin. Oh, Well, it also beats Iron Man, so checks out. Let's go. Us once again winning with the Phoenix Force being shy after getting buff. Apparently, it made her more willing to not show her face. Which is cool. Come on, Phoenix Force! I believe in you. You can show up. It's the last the last game come on phoenix force you have to show up for the people okay 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 oh 
pop that, and then we can carnage it. Which I'm fine with doing because it's like a net neutral. If we have Venom, that'd be better. But... Imagine if that was Venom. Oh, there's Venus Force, let's go! We get to do the thing! We get to do the thing! Let's go! That's an on reveal, right? Cool. So, don't be dumb. So, yeah. Phoenix Force here. I'm gonna move it to Shadowland. Spider Man right. Oh. Oh. Now, this is what dreams are made of right here. Sheesh. Dazzler is interesting. Also, I love that variant. Friendly neighborhood Spider -Man here. Wonder what they're looking at. Sarah. Oh, it's Surfer. God, I don't understand. Um. I don't understand. Cosmo in Surfer decks. It, like, it just simply does not make sense to me. Like, it, it's a hindrance to you. Like, as the person running Surfer, you are now in a not good position because you are running Surfer. Also, if he runs Killmonger, he loses literally everything on his dagger, which is, you know, not great. He almost had me there. He was close. N nearly beat the 25 power deck. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see the funny multiple man going everywhere with 8 power across the board. But, uh, I mean, this I think showed that even without Phoenix Force, uh, it's still really good and capable of winning with the Spider-Man locked down on 5. But on top of that, when you have Phoenix Force, it's just even sillier that, like, yeah, I have a 25 power Phoenix Force, and I lock down a location that I can win with Heimdall now. Okay, cool, bye. Very good deck. Uh, a lot of fun playing it. And if you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, and let me know that you did enjoy. And subscribe if you want more future videos. I upload once to two times a week typically, sometimes more. So feel free to stick around if you enjoy.